Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This was not a video I expected to make today. <laughs> oh, hell no. This is a new era. No longer does Blizzard need a war chief. Now we need to work together for a better future. Let's get into this. Jalen Brack is no longer war chief of Blizzard. Oh no, he has stepped down to be replaced by, well, something different, not a new war chief, but instead by something new and hopefully better. He will be replaced by Jennifer O'Neill, former studio head of Vicarious Visions, now part of Blizzard, and also by Mike Yabara, formerly of Microsoft. Now before I go on, go any further into this. Let's actually read the statement by Blizzard to the community and then we'll talk about it afterwards. To all members of the Blizzard community, we want to let you know about an important leadership change at Blizzard Entertainment. Starting today, Jay Allenbrack will be stepping down as the leader of the studio and Jen O'Neill and Mike Kibara will co-lead Blizzard moving forward. Jen joined Blizzard in January as Executive Vice President of Development where she's been providing senior development leadership and support to the Diablo and Overwatch franchises. Jin is the former head of Vicarious Visions, which is now part of Blizzard Entertainment, as we said before. After many years at Xbox, Mike joined the company in 2019 as Executive Vice President and General Manager of Platform and Technology, where he's been overseeing the evolution of Battle.net and our development service organisation. Jen and Mike have more than three decades of gaming industry experience between them, Moving forward, they will share responsibilities over game development and company operations. Both leaders are deeply committed to all of our employees. To the work ahead to ensure Blizzard is the safest, most welcoming workplace possible for women and people of any gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation or background. To uphold and reinforcing our values and to rebuilding your trust. With their many years of industry experience and deep commitment to integrity and inclusivity, Jen and Mike will lead Blizzard with care, compassion and a dedication to excellence. You'll be hearing more from Jen and Mike soon. And then we have a message from J. Allen Brack. I'm confident that Jen O'Neill and Mike Gibara will provide the leadership... Fuck's sake. I'm confident that Jen O'Neill and Mike Gibara will provide the leadership Blizzard needs to realise its full potential and will accelerate the pace of change. I anticipate that they will do so with passion and enthusiasm and that they can be trusted to lead with the highest levels of integrity and commitment to the components of our culture that make Blizzard so special. Finally, thank you all for being a part of the Blizzard community and for your passion and determination for safety and quality for all. So yes, Blizzard now has two Chiefs, and this is fantastic, in my opinion. We have two people with very different backgrounds. We've got one with studio and game development side, the other with systems, platforms, etc. It's brilliant to then bring those two together. It is an absolutely genius idea, and I think is the best outcome that we could have possibly hoped for in this. And I know, okay, well, let's just... Because I know somebody's going to say it. Someone's either going to leave a comment or we're going to see something on Twitter saying, oh, you've given it to a man and a woman. This is just pandering. Or why not just give it to Jen? That's just being sexist. Enough. Enough. Now is the time to look forward. Now is the time that hopefully Jen and Mike can come together and create a blizzard where everyone can feel safe and welcome. Exactly as they said in the statement. To create an environment where the staff can give everything they have to these amazing IPs that Blizzard owns. And be fairly rewarded for it. And many will say, again, that this is a stunt. So that YouTubers and streamers stop having a go. Stop hating on Blizzard and instead show them love. And they stop losing subscribers. You know what? I honestly think that's doing a disservice to the good people that still remain at Blizzard. And most importantly to Jen and Mike who are taking over the huge step of bleeding Blizzard through this change. At some point, Blizzard needed to make the first step towards creating this new future that all their employees deserve and whatever they did it was never going to be enough or it was going to be pandering it was going to be a stunt it was always going to be hate sadly the way it is in our community at the moment and i wish it wasn't i honestly have hope that this is the first step that blizzard needs to become a place where it's to become a place that its employees deserve 
Now time will tell. I will say for now congratulations to Jen and Mike. But now is the time to let your actions speak for you. We've had enough of statements. We've had enough of we can do better. Now's the time to prove it. And I hope with this new leadership, Blizzard can. They can step up. But I, as one of the members of that Blizzard community, take hope from this. And I look forward to brighter days ahead. That's enough from me, everyone. Stay safe. I'll catch you all in the next video. Laters, everyone.